they need to act now. Better acting would have been two months ago or two years ago or last week, but today, um, if not before then. Two professors at the University of Manitoba are doing work. They say the government of Manitoba should have started long before now. They're compiling data on COVID cases in child care facilities. The people who work in the sector and our children who are sent to child care centers every day need a voice. Doctors Eliza Gerstein and Lauren Kelly say the Manitoba government is not collecting data around COVID-19 cases in child care facilities. A lot of parents are trying to make decisions about sending their kids to child care without any data to guide them. And I think, um, you know, not only do we want to advocate to keep our children safe, but also the people who take care of them. Um, you know, these are our extended family members uh, and uh, it really is essential that they have all the protective equipment that they need. Both mothers, their hoping to compile enough data to show the need for increased resources and PPE in what they call an overlooked but critical sector. They're given rapid tests only for the unvaccinated staff across two sites. We have one unvaccinated staff. All we get, two rapid tests a week for that one unvaccinated person. That's it. And that's all it can be used for. So we know that there's infrastructure to get testing and get masks to childcare facilities. It's just not being used. You know, elementary school parents are picking up kits for their kids. Where are the child care provider kits? It has been incredibly difficult for the early learning and child care sector. Well, why have early childhood educators continued to have been overlooked over the last 24 months? Jody Kell, executive director of the Manitoba Child Care Association, says the results of this data gathering should prove crucial in getting the realities of child care in a pandemic to the government. There have been many cases, many outbreaks, but there's not a clear picture to what extent. A document will be distributed for child care centers to complete and it's already taken off in the 24 hours since its inception. We had 246 responses that covers I think about 2,800 staff and about 13,000 children in the province. City News will bring you more on the data anticipated to be ready next week. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.